entitled Path Hogging Bitch. So this literally just happened. Was walking along the path on the way to pick my son up from school. The path runs next to a road. Wouldn't say it's a main road, but it was busy because you know, school pick up. A few kids come running past, and their three mothers walking behind, three abreast so had I moved to let them pass as they were I would have been in the road. I make eye contact with the one I'm headed for a direct collision for, and she just glances at me then carries on straight ahead. When she gets to me, she nudges slash indicates her head towards the road. I said can I just get past please, and she actually said why, should I have to move, I have a child with me. Like, your child is 20 feet in front of you. No fucking way am I walking into the road around crazy driving school mums when you just see BA to move over 2 feet so we can all stay on the path. She ended up making a huge huffing slash sighing slash groaning noise as she reluctantly moved. Think her friends were kind of embarrassed as they had started to stroll on when she said what she did and followed her friends. She was that focused on her child, for yo maximum, that she didn't notice he was playing with the two other kids on the busy corner of the road. A plus parenting lady. What can you do? Entitled aunt falsely accuses my mom for child abuse. Background information. The incident happened at my dad's home during a Christmas party. I was a little over a year old at the time. My dad was at work while mom and co try to have a good time. Then came my older brother. He wanted to use the bathroom. The door's lock won't let him in, so everyone scrambled to try to undo the lock so my brother could get in. Then, EA, my mom's sister, threw a fit. Why is your son ruining my time? Insert mom's real name here. Insert EA's real name here. He is 3 years old, and I did not tell him to fumble with the lock to get some attention. The two started fighting. EA is the one b asterisk asterisk ch that wants everything done in her way. EA then had the gall to call CPS on my mom for child abuse, particularly trapping me in the closet. CPS came to the house and searched me and my brothers for any bruises and wounds. It was a false alarm and my mom, having her anger levels amplified to 11, decided to not see EA again. How many more posts about parents thinking that everybody should pay their bills and give them free food am I going to have to see on Facebook? Okay I can admit that I've had to ask for help before but there are people on there like every week asking for help with food, diapers, bus passes, gas, clothes for their kids etc. Yeah I've had to ask for a few things here and there to get ready for my son being born in February but I don't expect people to give me anything. There are some people on there that act like, just because they laid down and spread their legs, that they are entitled to everything and that strangers on the internet should pay their bills. Get off your back and get a job. Having kids is not a job. There are also people who will abuse public assistance by having more and more kids, just to be able to rack up more and more benefits. There are people out there who don't pay a single dime in rent or food expenses due to being on so much assistance. These people have not worked for years or sometimes a day in their lives because they seem to think that laying on their back and popping out 8 kids that they expect the taxpayers to take care of it is a job. Grow up, get off your ass and start supporting your kids. Quit expecting decent hard working people to completely support your kids. There's nothing wrong with asking for help once in a while, but quit thinking that everybody should hand you everything just because you made the choice to lay on your back and pop out a few kids. Entitled Mom Freaks Out at Subway. Cast, Roman my friend, M you know who, FM friend's mom, thing one and thing two entitled kids, old lady old lady. BT dubs this was my friend's story, he is letting me post this. My friend and his mom were getting home from pilot training one late afternoon and were hungry, so they stopped at a nearby subway for a sandwich. While Roman and his mom were waiting in line to order, they both see thing one and thing two pushing and harassing an old lady trying to get a drink from the fridge. Roman goes up to the kids and tries to tell them to let the old lady go and to stop picking on her. The kids don't listen and continue harassing the old lady. FM goes over and tries to get them to stop and then M arrives. M goes ballistic and yells at Roman and his mom. What are you doing to my precious children? They deserve to get their drinks first and not you bratty people. 
FM helps the old lady get her food and also helps her get to her table while M is still standing in line fuming at them. M continues to yell at them that her children deserved only the best and that they were getting in the way. Roman and his mom get their food and sit down at one of the small tables to eat their sandwiches while watching M yelling at the cashier. In typical M fashion, she demands to see the manager. The manager shows up and asks M and her kids, who were harassing other customers to leave. M says no, so the manager and a few other employees escort her out of the restaurant while she is screaming at them and demanding a refund. M realizes that she lost this one, so she grabbed thing one and thing two and left, but not before she attempted to ram her car into FM's car and the old lady's car before screeching out of the parking lot and onto the street. Update, just found out that M was arrested for a hit and run.